You ever get the idea that sometimes you take a joke just a smidge too far? Maybe just a little bit. Uh, my friends and coworkers have been making jokes for months now about I need to be wrapped in bubble wrap in order to keep myself from getting injured again this year because it seems like I always do something. And I decided that I was going to take them up on this joke and make a bubble wrap dress. This is the big project that the course that I purchased on Amazon was for. I'll put an affiliate link down below if you're curious about an inexpensive and relatively okay corset. I bought one of these and padded my dress form out to the measurements I wanted it to be at because I didn't trust the bubble wrap to hold any structure. It is flimsy and designed to wrap around things, right? So we had a lot of fun playing with bubble wrap and just draping around here. It's a really interesting material, and it was a lot more durable than I thought I would be running into, to be honest. So, first things first, I realized I needed to make some larger sheets for my skirt, which ended up with me keeping together a couple panels so that I had longer, wider panels. This gave me a base for my skirt so that as I designed it and draped it, it wouldn't fall off. And then I started working on the bodice. I kind of was inspired by some 1950s ball gowns and wanted like a sweetheart neckline over the cups and also extended the cup up over the corset to make sure I would have coverage in case I was being a little athletic in the corset. I designed it to open in the back just because that seemed like the easiest way to get me in and out of this dress. My friend who took the photos that you're going to see here in a minute did tape me into it because there really wasn't a better way I could think of to put this together. Um, I wish that all clothing construction went as easily and as quickly as this one did with using packing tape. It just made life so much easier to try and do packing tape and I got to play with the translucent properties of the bubble wrap over my light blue corset this way. Um, the other idea I'd floated was trying to mount this onto some sort of muslin and turning it into a fabric. But that seemed a bit more wasteful, to me at least. This way I can take it apart and when my friends move later this summer, I can give them the dress to pull apart and use to wrap up their dishes and other breakable things. I did two layers of bubble wrap on the majority of the bodice to at least kind of give it a little opacity. And I just taped the edges of this together. And then I had to go through in a couple strategic places as I was taking the bodice off of the dress form to make sure that it would stay intact. So I taped couple of the raw edges for the back so both layers would stay together as well as putting a couple pieces of tape to join the center front panel under the bust to those molded bust cups that I'd made. By the time I was done, the bust, the bustier of the ball gown actually could almost stand up on its own, which was really fun. I did end up having a couple spots that overlapped, and that was by design in case I needed to adjust sizing. Um, after I got the bodice into a place that I liked for the most part, I started trying to figure out what I was going to do for the skirt. I really enjoyed some layered effects on prom dresses because it was actually prom season when I was making the skirt but I wasn't entirely sure how to do this easily and ended up pinning the skirt in place for quite a bit. By pinning it into the dress form and onto the lower portion of the corset and using a little bit of scotch tape honestly as temporary 
tacks in place, I was able to start coming up with shapes as well as a foundation layer of the skirt. While the side opening was super helpful with this design, I did start to realize that the skirt was going to be a little bit too heavy for the bodice the more I started adding layers to it. It was being held up on the dress form nicely by straight pins when I was building it, but I was worried about the structural integrity of the skirt as a whole, and I didn't want to sacrifice all of the layers. So I ended up choosing to go with a neck strap or a shoulder strap, kind of a halter style, to keep everything up and in place. Mother Nature decided she was going to help me with a little bit of consistency between my corset vlog and my bubble rest vlog. Just by producing random amounts of spring snow. Go figure. But this dress ended up becoming maybe a two or three day make just because I was having to pat out my dress form, put the corset on, and then kind of drape a pattern over it. I love the petal effect of the skirt and my giant train that I ended up attaching with a big bow in the back. It's kind of just fun and it's completely whimsical in my mind. I know sometimes I take a joke too far, but I don't think it was too far in this case. I think it was just lots and lots of fun. I also got to prove to myself that I could in fact still hike around in the snow like I used to. Although I did go and get some hiking tracks and my ankle boots instead of the cute high heels I'd been planning on wearing with this dress. What kind of unconventional materials do you make your stuff out of? Do you have anything in particular that you really enjoy to craft with? And have you ever had random onlookers enjoy your stuff just as much as you did? Tell me about it down in the comments. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would love to get your feedback that way. And if you want to see more random adventures with clothing and sewing and costuming history, go ahead and hit subscribe. I would love to have you around for the journey. Bye.